it feels like there's a race right now in AI, right? Would you say that there's a race between companies in AI? It certainly feels that way. Yeah. And it almost feels like you guys are the new Formula One drivers <laughs> or you guys are like the new, like, uh, it's like um, Mario Andretti or you guys are the new, like, uh, Bubba Watts and all the, you know, it's almost like these are the new race cars that everybody's kind of watching position themselves. Um what is the race for? Because you hear about AI and then you hear about AGI. Uh, and then you hear about super intelligence. What is, what is this race that's going on? How real is it? And what is the race for? When I was a kid, the race was like the megahertz race and then it became the gigahertz race. Everybody wanted a computer with a faster processor. And, oh, yeah. You know, Intel would come out with this one and then AMD would come out with this one. And every, like it turned out that those gigahertz measurements eventually were not even that helpful. Like you could have one that had a lower number and it was it, in practice, it was faster. And eventually I think it was Apple that realized they should just stop talking about the clock speed of their computers. And you probably don't even know what the processor speed of your iPhone is today. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That was a big thing and it kind of disappeared. And I think the same thing has been happening in AI where everybody was racing on these benchmarks. You know, I score this on this benchmark and this on that one. And now people are realizing that like, okay, the benchmarks are kind of saturated. We went through the equivalent of our megahertz race with our benchmark race. And now people kind of don't care about that as much. And now it's like, who's using the model? Who's getting the value out of it? Things like that. Um, but, but I do think people still feel like we're heading towards some milestone. What the milestone is, they disagree on, but maybe it's, Maybe it's a system that's capable of doing its own AI research and its own sort of self-improvement. Um, maybe it's a system that is like smarter than all of humans put together. But they feel like there is some finish line to cross. I actually don't quite feel like this, but I think a lot of people in the industry that there's some finish line that we're going to cross. Maybe it's this like self-improvement moment.